Hello, Columbia, and welcome to City View, where we give you an inside view at the City of Columbia. I'm your host, Leisha Yutsi. Community development is one of the primary focuses of the City of Columbia, and that is why we recently held a press conference to announce our celebration and recognition of National Community Development Week. It's an honor and a pleasure to be with you today, and I want to thank everyone for, for joining us uh, for National Community Development Week. Uh, it's very um, tough so, sometimes for people to realize the impact that HUD and its many programs through our CDBG programs, our home programs, uh, the impact it's had on the entire city of Columbia. Almost every neighborhood has been touched uh, by our CDBG programs. We look at the Vista, uh, Irwood Park, where we now stand, Elmwood Park, uh, Lion Street through our, through our fantastic uh, support that we've received because of Mr. Neitner and, 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 uh, and Secretary Castro and others uh, through the CDBG uh, disaster relief funding. Uh, now every neighborhood in Southeast Columbia uh, and across the city will, will benefit from it. It has been a lifeblood of the renaissance and revitalization that the city has gone through over the last two decades. And we're so proud to come here together as one great community to celebrate 42 years of the CDBG program, 25 years of the home program, and to see the benefits, the fruits of the labors of so many people. As you can see, community development does a lot in our community. So if you would like more information, or if you need services from that department, contact community development at 803-545-3373. And speaking of very busy departments, the Office of Business Opportunities recently joined with other organizations to sponsor a graduation ceremony for next level business owners. We had the opportunity to learn how to build from the bottom up, which teaches us to make sure that we have all of our T's crossed, our I's dotted, to know about accounting, to know about finances, to make sure that we're doing taxes, to make sure that there, we know about funding that, that's out there that no one really tells us about. So it's basically just making sure that you know what you're doing so that way you don't have to have any problems later. I would say it is in their best interest to be a part of the next class. You have so much fun learning all the different things that you need to know in order to have a successful business. So I encourage anyone, whether you do not know what you want to do or if you already have a business, it is so important to take this class. And by the time you're done with the class, you will feel like you know everything pretty much that of what you need to know to run your business. The City of Columbia continues to recover from the October 2015 flood. As part of the flood recovery, Portions of Riverfront Park were recently reopened to the public for use. We were able to catch up with one of our park rangers who told us more about what is reopened at Riverfront Park. We've got fabulous walking and running and biking and spectacular views unmatched anywhere else in the city. But when you enter at Laurel Street, you can come in and walk two and a half miles up to the diversion dam before you turn around. So that round trip is a five mile workout and it is beautiful along the entire way. Spring is in full bloom here. We are heavily in the debt of our public works guys. The street division and traffic en and engineering, there were 40 some tons of gravel screening applied to the trail and the electrical conduit was relayed so all of our lights and call boxes could be restored. We can now feel confident that we are welcoming you back to a safe park. That was a great update about Riverfront Park and the portions of the park that have now reopened after the flood damage. As we continue to make more strides to reopen facilities after the October 2015 flood, we're also happy to announce that the Clyburn Golf Center has reopened for business. Here at the Clyburn Golf Center, we offer programming for kids. Um, we focus on, we're part of the first tee. So in the first tee we work, um, we use golf as our vessel to teach golf life skills as well as golf skills. Um, so we want them to come out better golfers, but I really want them to come out of the program as better people. So we work on things like sportsmanship, integrity, perseverance, um, which lines up directly with golf. We also do every other weekend starting April 16th, we'll do our girls golf program. 
That's for girls ages 5 to 16. Um, and our younger girls come the first Saturday and our older girls come the third Saturday. Um, and that's for about an hour and a half and it's just, it's a free event for girls. Um, the sport has forever been dominated by men, so we want to introduce it to girls in a setting where they see other girls playing the sport um, and in a comfortable setting taught by females as well. So that's a great program. Um, it's great because you don't have to commit to every week. So if you want to try it, bring a girl out here and then you don't have to come. If she hates it, she doesn't have to come the next week. But if you do love it, it's only one Saturday a month for your girl, um, which gives them a good time to get involved to test the waters before they join one of our programs. Well, that was another great update about a reopened facility, the Cliven Golf Center, after the recent flood. Golf is a great activity, and many other activities are available to you and your kids through Parks and Recreation. It is time to get them signed up for Summer Camps 2016. For any kids that's interested in signing up for one of our specialty camps or our overall general theme camps, you're assured to have a, a, a awesome experience and, and wonderful time. From education through recreation, we're making it fun, team building, self-awareness, self-expression, decision making. There are a number of themes each week from Ignite Your Summer to Carnival of Sports, Mind Adventure, Outdoor Olympics. So it's going to be very high impact um, and mentally stimulating. For more information about our summer camp program, um, please call 545-3100 or visit your local um, park in your community. Well, those summer camps will last all summer long. So if you want more information about summer camps and how to get your child registered, contact Parks and Recreation at 803-545-3020. As always, we thank you for watching City TV, and we ask that you stay tuned to see more programs and updates from the City of Columbia. We are your 24-hour information station. If you are seeking more information, visit our website at columbiasc.net, and please visit our social media platforms. And remember, we are Columbia.